High-speed internet is a very competitive market with an increasing demand by the consumer, but are you actually getting the bandwidth that you're paying for? Have you struggled with contacting your cable provider and said, hey, I'm not getting the speeds that I'm paying for? Have you maybe upgraded your router? We're going to take a look at what the problem might be and show you some other things and a product that can be helpful in establishing why you may not be getting the bandwidth that you desire here. We're running a little speed test here. You can use this speedtest.net. Run your own speed test so you can kind of get a baseline of your download speed and your upload speed and compare that to what you're paying for with your cable provider. This tutorial is going to cover those with cable modems and we're going to be talking about a very specific Motorola SB6141 in today's new video. This is Ryan Rigg with Fast Electronic and Loud. So let's give you a little background here. Wikipedia on Doxis and what we're actually talking about. Doxis 3.0 is the newest standard in the cable modem industry. Now with the increases in high speed, the data rates have gone up. Therefore, Doxis 3.0 is a standard. It's required in your cable modem. If you don't have that now, that could be the reason why you're missing out on your high speed. So let's just gonna do a quick Google search here. Comcast Doxis 3.0 modem list. So for Comcast customers or Time Warner, you could probably find a similar list, but we're gonna use the Comcast one for reference. They've put together, depending on what your speed tier is, you can select your speed tier, then you can look at the available products that they have certified, those that are going to work already with their network. So for example, we're going to take a look here at the 6141, compatible with Comcast, Time Warner, Cox, Charter Cable, plenty of different cable companies. They also have them rated 1, 2, 3 star for certification, just different levels of certification available on the different modems for the network. So what we're going to take a look at here, for example, we use the blast here at Fast Electronic and Loud. So we're going to want to reference that blast. We can take a look here and we can take a look and see, okay. Now, this is very important, end of life. This is what you're going to want to look at. Select the filter for end of life. These are not recommended for use. So if you see your cable modem like we did here, we had this modem, the SB6120. Now, originally, two, three years ago, it was a DOCSIS 3.0 compliant modem. However, they've increased their speeds. They're saying it's now on their end of use list. So therefore, let's take a look today at the Motorola SB6141. 400 series cable modem up to 343 megabits per second download speed. And it is the DOCSIS 3.0 certified, backwards compatible to DOCSIS 2.0, and eight times faster than DOCSIS 2.0. So you can stream HD, Play your online games, stream music, share music compatible with Windows, Mac, Linux. So inside the box, we got a two-year warranty, Ethernet cable, power ad adapter. Let's cut this bad boy open and take a look inside, and we'll get, show you exactly what's inside, an overview, how you'll install this, and why this may solve your bandwidth problem. Inside, we got a power adapter here, standard North American plug for this particular model. You can check the links down below. We've got a couple different cable modems listed there, just kind of the ones that are the most known to everybody. Also, we've got the Ethernet cable that's been supplied. We're going to need this. Depending on your setup, you might already have your cable modem set up, so you wouldn't need that Ethernet cable, but it has been included, for example, if you're a new customer. So we can go ahead and get this nice, shiny, white, brand new Motorola SB6141 out of the package here. We got a little warning label there. Important safety instruction. Before installing this product, please make sure electrical outlets are properly wired and grounded. So you don't want to plug that into a bad outlet. So we'll get the package off of here. And we can take a look here at this brand new cable modem. We got a little quick start guide, a little paperwork down there in the bottom of the box. But taking a look at it, it's real sleek. It's white. It's got some available options there on the side. So if you want to do like a wall mount, you're able to. All of your status is going to be indicated there on the front. You've got LED indicators to show power, internet connectivity, as well as send and receive. We've got mounting holes on the side, so if you wanted to wall mount that, you could. Really nice rubber feet on the bottom. So if it was sitting on like a desk or maybe on a floor, you'd have no problem there. You've got all of your connections there on the back for Ethernet, where your actual coaxial cable, your cable line will go. 
on the front there you can see the statuses of those LED symbols and we'll show you those later in the video lit up so if you're mounting that on the wall or if you're having that on your desk you've got those four corners of rubber protection the feet that'll keep that nice and secure quick and easy installation there you're gonna get it connected and contact the cable provider it's real simple and we're gonna show you that we'll get this twist tie off of the power adapter get that ready we'll grab our Ethernet cable we'll go ahead and grab the cable modem and we'll just kind of show you here yours is going to be a little bit different setup in your house you'll plug into power you'll plug into Ethernet there connect to your router or to your computer depending on your setup at home and then you'll also connect your coaxial cable there coming out of your wall that you already have you know if you already have an existing cable modem or a new one but all lit up and installed it is working it is functional it's definitely going to give you those higher speeds so if you weren't getting the speeds before as promised you might want to take a look at the brand new motorola sb6141 and we have that link down below in the description but i'm ryan rig fast electronic and loud we always bring it to you fast electronic and of course loud if you enjoyed the video please click that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you're not thanks for watching